All right, so Clarissa just chopped up some green onions. This is basically a meal two for me today. I fasted. It's day one of what we're going to call check diet number one. And you can see light meats, light fish, uh, red foods or caution foods. Uh, vegetables are going to be moderate starch and low starch vegetables. Lots of vegetables, not a lot of meat. Nuts and seeds are uh, said to be used sparingly. Fruit, all are okay. Um, so uh, every meal should contain a protein from these sources. Only occasional lean red meat or restrict entirely. So I'm going to try to not do any red meat for 10 days. I'm cooking some organic chicken in the pan right here. And we're gonna eat chicken and a salad and we're gonna eat a banana and mango and some okra. And some raspberries and a sparing amount of nut butter. And I'm kind of sad about my kefir. I don't know who opened this kefir jar when there was a perfectly good kefir jar open right here. We're going to let Clarissa try some raw milk. Ooh. <laughs> a little nervous about that. We'll try the raw milk while the chicken's cooking. Oh, God. You're going to make him do that on camera so that yeah. I make this awful face. Yeah. She said raw milk stinks. You made me smell it the other day, it smells. What the, oh no, that was a keeper. Oh. Yeah, I was just kidding. It's still gross. It smells. I said it smells. <laughs> Do you like milk? Yeah, you like regular milk? Yeah. Regular milk. Regular milk. Do you like pasteurized <laughs> the cow's store. milk? Okay. <laughs> We'll try that. For real? Yeah. I don't think I would make you try anything. I knew you wouldn't like it. I didn't make you try the kefir last night because I figured you might not like it. So I know you're going to like that, so I'm going to make you. You're 100% sure? I'm 100% positive you will not be able to tell the difference between your regular milk and your <laughs> You may even say that that's better. I'm going to pour some of the glass for you. Oh. Or you can spill that in the That'll work too. Yeah. <laughs> You're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> Alright. Are you ready? <laughs> um, I'm not ready. Does it smell? No, I can't smell right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, shut up. It's amazing. I know. Shut up. <laughs> it's not that bad. I know, it's good. It's not it's bad like, at all. It's like milk. It does have like a little bit of a different taste. It's because it's full fat. But yeah, but I'm like, I, that was, that's what I was saying. It doesn't bother me. Like, I don't drink like 2% or skim milk anyways. I you drink whole milk. I or drink whole milk, yeah. Okay. So I mean, like, it kind of tastes like whole milk. Mm hmm. It just doesn't taste as thick. Um, so the salad that we made was red char, kale, collards, cilantro, and green onions, olive oil, and salt. I think I'm going to add a tomato. You like tomatoes? A little bit. A little bit? I'll cut it for you. I know some girls that don't like tomatoes. I, I like a little, not... Have you ever heard <laughs> the myth that... Uh, yes. Yeah, so most girls think that tomatoes make their vagina stink or taste nasty or something. That's but not true. I know the myth is not true, but most girls think that. It's retarded. I know, it is. But How do you want this cut? Just like little chopped pieces? I think that they sell pasteurized milk in stores. And uh, yeah, just however. This is a very, very ripe tomato, so yeah. watch out for the overripe parts. What do you mean? What? The bottom of it is probably like old and old. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I fasted today. 
And then after work, I didn't want to talk during my video because somebody was studying in the break room. And I ate some food that you'll see in this video. <laughs> in your silent eating video? Yeah. <laughs> um, who was in there? Oh, was somebody from Bistro? Uh-huh. Bald guy? Bald guy. Is that who it was? Bald guy. Uh -huh. You know who? I don't know who, what his name is. Yeah. Wait. It's... I don't, I don't remember. Fuck. I know he, like... Because he had bought flowers from me the other day. He, like, called it in or something. So, I'm not really excited about these ten days because... I like eating meat and fat, but I'm going to kind of treat it like raw vegan and I'm going to eat like a whole bunch of vegetables and fruits because the fruit part of this recommended foods chart says that fruit is okay. So I'm going to eat the shit out of it. Bless you. Yeah, give me like a little, you can have like You can put on. over however much you want on yours, and you don't have to eat all that. I probably won't be able to put it all in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll try. I'll eat the leftovers. I'm sure you will, baddie. <laughs> you want some banana? You like bananas? You like really ripey ones like this? I do, but I don't like the brown spot. Dinosaur wieners. So I wouldn't eat that. I thought you had the next one. <laughs> I don't know the way it makes for cheese food. Ugh. Some walnut butter. <coughs> mm. <laughs> Try it with a banana. Homemade <laughs> <laughs> well, walnut butter on a dinosaur wiener. Why well, call it a dinosaur wiener? Because it's speckled like one. <laughs> I don't look like a dinosaur over here. Oh, you're seeing a dinosaur over here? Oh, I just imagine that's how they look. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now this is the time to drink milk. Mm hmm. Because of that. There you go. <laughs> like, it's just like. Heaven. Yeah. It's like almost like how awesome it tastes to drink milk after. Yeah. Raspberries. I'm not gonna be a fatty and grab like all a lot of them at one time and like save it for days, you know. <laughs> we got passion fruit. We don't know how to eat them. We gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> they look like freaking huge dates, kinda. So learn with us as we eat the passion fruit. Cut it with a butter knife? The fruit of passion we will cut with a butter knife. Really? And supposedly they're tart, they so we're gonna maybe eat it with some honey. I don't know if this is gonna work with a butter knife. Oh no. Do you need a sharper knife? Yeah. It's just like the outside is just weird. It's a weird texture. It does look like a little alien is in it. It's so weird. <laughs> look at Aliens. this. Is there a lot of fruit? Not a whole lot. Nah, it's like seedy and like green fruit. It's like weird. I like green. 
So I'm just gonna try it straight up. I'm gonna eat it. It looks kind. Of, it reminds me of kind of like pomegranate. Yeah. A little weird. Mmm. Is it tart? Yeah, it is tart. Look at your side of your cheeks. Well, like that yeah. <laughs> it's good. Not bad. That tastes like a grapefruit and crunchy, seedy. Listen. She likes something a monkey would eat. I did get mine. Like, mm. it's pretty good. I don't know how much that cost or what the benefit of passion fruit is, except that I've never eaten one in my life. And that's oh, you got one of these, right? This is the yeah. dragon fruit. Well, it's a horned melon. Horned melon. I'm going to try that, too. Next. <laughs> Next. The dragon fruit's like pink either. colored. It's got like these little things. I'm going to save some passion fruit for later. Got dates and cranberries and dates and... Mangoes and pineapples and bananas. What do you These do, are pitted. What do you gotta start tomorrow? Huh? Pitted. Oh. High carb. Uh, no red meat for 10 days. Oh. Um, chicken, ham, and fish. Lean meat. Low fat. Do you know if you're off on Thanksgiving yet? Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving day. I don't know. I'm probably gonna boil that chicken. I'll probably work. We'll I'll probably close early, but... I mean, if everybody else wants off, I want, I want to work. I don't know. I'm, only, I'm, really, I'm not really worried about Thanksgiving anymore. Alright, so... Christmas, I guess. I really don't know how to do this. Mm -mm. But I'm going to try. Just kidding. Um, you and Reed are going to have to... Oh, it's kind of like the same with your Christmas. Christmas. Hmm? You and Reed are going to fly separately. On a other on a different plane? Yeah. But you guys are gonna stay longer than us, probably. Is it good? Isn't it half flavored? Not really. It sucks. Well, how do you try it? Just poke into it. It looks cool. Horned melon. <laughs> no, like. It's like a mellow or passion fruit. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lemony. It's like, yeah, I was trying to like think about the. It's like. It's almost like lemon water. Yeah, it's it's really green tasting though. For some reason, like it's like it's got that. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Here's the hit. Yeah, I don't know. Can I eat the skin? I think I like the passion fruit better. No. <laughs> I feel like there's a reason for this melon to have these spikes on it, maybe to tell us not to eat it. Mm. Wonder if the horned melon will make me horny. <laughs> that makes me. That works for me. That works for me. Yeah. Like, what do you think the passion is? It's anything passion. Mm hmm. Cool. Horny passion. There you go. <laughs> Horned passion. I like the passion fruit. That's what I was saying. I like that one better. It's, it's, the, um, it's got a little more flavor. Yeah. Maybe this wasn't right. Well, I mean, it seems kind of squishy ish. Um, we'll have to research that. It's definitely juicy. I could see how it can be hydrating. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can eat it like you. Like 